Hi lovelies. So I like in, I'm really in love with seeing all of your faces. Um, I'm trying to be cheerful, but I'm not in a very cheerful mood today. So this is all what's it called? A deception. Um <sighs> Like, we people with chronic illness need anything else to bring us down, right? Am I right? So, last night, and this was really funny because I was talking to my Uncle Devin, my, my Uncle by Choice, Devin, and um, I was telling him, I was like, like, late at night, I should, like, I am like a drunk person. Like, I need someone to take away my phone because I, like, drunk dial. But what I meant by that, what I was, like, I explained it to him better but now it's later and my brain's all scrambled but I'm like I, I need someone to take my credit card away from me at night because generally that's when I'm like most awake and most alert and most not feeling like crap but that does in no way mean that I am capable of making decisions of like importance and um and I was telling him that um, Deeks is like my my DD, my designated driver, because thank God, I will tell you the whole situation, but thank God I had her, I had texted her because she was like, stop! <laughs> Otherwise, I would have been like, oh, this is really freaking me out, but I don't know what to do because I just want to go to sleep. I was so, so tired last night, which is really unusual for me. Like, I just have not been doing well lately. I don't know what's up, but... I mean, it's good that I get tired at night, I guess. That's, like, what normal people do. But, um, I have noticed some issues with, like, my graphics. And I know that I have never updated my computer with any sorts of drivers. I know I've heard of people doing it, but I have never. My computer's very old, which I didn't think about until they mentioned it. But I put in Asus Support for Drivers. And the first, I clicked on the first link, as one does, who knows nothing about computers and has a naive spirit upon them. Yes, I am one of the most gullible people ever, but my mother has put a fear of God in me with certain things and makes me at least rethink things a little bit. Doesn't necessarily mean I don't, I stop doing them. I'm still freaking codependent, so... I like never want to like upset anybody but um so I click on this link and I'm like hi I was interested to see if because literally all I was calling for was I can't visually see things I need someone to say to me go to this link and download these drivers this is where our graphics drivers updates are here so that's what I was calling for um, fast forward a ditty, and they have my credit card number, the security code, and are charging me at least $200, and I literally had no idea what was going on. Like, I had, I started to get a suspicion of something weird, but it, the, the only thing that made me go, huh is the guy that was supposedly he linked onto my computer which is not a really great idea if you don't know what you're doing just a pointer pointer one well pointer one is don't click on things you don't know and talk to an asus person if that's what your computer is two is don't let people remote access your computer unless you know them and or trust them so he was actually looking through my pictures like my private pictures and um, have this thing called uh, Gyazo or something like that. I don't know how you actually say it, but that's how I say it. It's like G-Y-A-Z-O. That may, I may be making that up. Something like that. And it takes these like little short clips. Like if I were to be talking to someone like click on this icon, then this icon, I could like videotape that and send it to someone. 
well, some of them are like really joking around and like not necessarily things I want out there for the world. It's like Snapchat, like you just want them to disappear. Well, I didn't know they didn't disappear and he started looking through them and I was like, how are you even doing that? I don't even know how to do that and it's my freaking computer. So I messaged Deke saying, I don't really know what's going on, but the person that's supposed to be updating my drivers is looking through my pictures or something like that. And she like freak like she was just like I don't like this I do not like this I do not like she was a rational person about it and it was just like and then I was like and she was like wait who's doing this and I was just like oh these people on the internet you know because everybody is out for my goodwill and looking after me and not wanting my money huh <laughs> And she was just like, you click out of everything and stop. Like, stop everything. Put the hold on everything. And I started to, the, I then asked them if they were scammers. Not tip number three. No, do not ask scammers if they are scammers. Because they will say no. What? Are you, are you scamming me? That's what I literally said. I was like an 85 year old woman. Like, are you scamming me, mister? <laughs> oh my gosh. If I don't laugh, I will cry. So I finally, these got through to me. I was like, listen, this is what's going on. This is probably not okay. I call my bank. It's three o'clock in the morning got a hold of somebody they said you need to call the next day during like bank hours and um but then I called back the company and I was like listen I am going to file a dispute at my bank and I am going to get my lawyers involved I don't know I just see that on tv like when people get really upset they say they're going to get their lawyers involved so that's what I said <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, it worked. Supposedly. Until the money is like actually back in my account, I'm not going to feel settled. But they called me today and left a message saying that they were processing my complaint or something like that. And the money was in my bank account. So, but it's pending. So until I actually see it back, I won't dispute it. But if then, it was so, they talked me into circles. I mean, they were so good. Even if I had been alert, like I still probably would have had the same situation because they were just like, I couldn't understand them, first of all. I talked to like at minimum six different people, like not exaggerating at all. Like I'd say 10 if I was exaggerating, but six people minimum I talked to. And they'd keep calling me back and like, we're going to do this on your computer and then call back and then in five minutes. And I'm like, five minutes? Like, I wanted to go to bed. So I kept on being like, five minutes? And they'll be like, okay, in a minute. And um, it was just horrible. And I could not understand them. And it was just like, I would ask like, well, what do you need my credit card number for? And they would just talk circles around everything. And I'd be so confused by the end of it that I'd be like, okay what and then the only time I actually did get like a little bit like irritated is they asked for my security code because I know if you have your security code on the back of your credit card then like they can legit do like anything with your card and so when they asked me that I was like wait why do you need my security code but then they talked me into circles again and I was just like well and then at that point I was like well they have my money I don't want to not get anything and just waste this money and so it was just such a mess and I just trust people so much and like oh it just hurt me like it hurts me like I don't know these people but it like hurts me that they possibly are doing it to other people and it hurts me that I did that with my money and I don't know so it's very depressing Actually, this is like, maybe this is a good side of being chronically ill, but I actually woke up the next morning and didn't remember. Like generally, uh, like that would be the first thing I would think about and like jump on the computer and check my balance, but I actually didn't, nope, nothing until I got back 
and my aunt, my other aunt, she called me or texted me and was like, listen, this is how you do a dispute. Like just talking me through some things. And I was like, holy crap, that like really happened. Oh my gosh. Cause I've been watching like a lot of movies lately. So I've been having crazy dreams and like just moviness and being, being sick and stuff like that. You guys know. So, oh my gosh, what a mess. And so finally I just like got my mom and I was like, I don't understand all this stuff. Can you please help me? Cause she helps me with like all my finances and like stuff like that. And, but I seriously need a DD for my credit card or like anything important for sleepiness or sick when I'm sick or sleepy, like get it away from me. But, um, so, uh, in the comments down below, let me know if you've ever been scammed and let me know about your experience and what you did to get out of it, if not, and I'll, I don't know what I'll do. I was going to say I'll pray for those people, but you probably wouldn't want that, but I'll pray for the people that maybe possibly might get duped by them. How about that? So, in the comments down below, please leave that comment if you've ever been scammed in any type or form and let me know what happened and maybe ways to like, kind of like things to not get into, which is not going to be anything from now on. And uh, also, um, I really appreciate you guys and I hope that you guys subscribe so that you can be entered two times in the giveaway before I hit 50 subscribers. Um, the reason I'm doing the subscribe the giveaway is just because I appreciate you guys so freaking much and I love you and I love all your comments and watching my videos means so much to me but I just am looking for an excuse to give back to you guys and I actually was going to do it at my hundredth video but I forgot that it was my hundredth video. <laughs> I have five row people. So uh, I'm going to do it at 50 subscribers and if you are the first 50, you get you get entered into the giveaway two times and then if you're past the 50, you get entered one time and when it happens, I will let you guys know all of the rules and all of that, it is international and all that good stuff. So give this video a thumbs up and please leave those comments down below. Please don't make me feel alone. And um, as always, I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye!